Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm just going to do an unboxing and a review of a, well, I say new, but it's not really that new, it's quite old. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a bo boxing and, um, uh, and a review, sorry, of the O2 Cocoon, um, obviously from O2 UK. Um, I believe it was released in June 2007. Um, I've always wanted this phone because it just looks so sleek and it's a really nice phone. Um, and the box is just strange really, I mean I, I quite like it, and as you can see there it says hello, but that is like an indentation um, because I don't know if you know about this phone, but it's got hidden LEDs and a proprietary screen on the outside of the phone so that it shows you like the time, what music you're playing, alarms and things like that um, very much similar to the Sony Ericsson W380i I much prefer this phone just because it looks a lot nicer. Uh, now it was released in June 2007. Uh, it's got two gig built-in memory, has a two megapixel camera with LED flash. Uh, it takes video calls and it has a video call camera, obviously. Uh, it does actually have 3G, which I was quite shocked at, bearing in mind that it, uh, it's almost four years old. Um, it's got. Hmm, SMS, well, all your basic phone stuff and a couple of free games included uh, and it also came with a 2 gigabyte memory card, well mine did anyway uh, so let's have a look into the box Okay. now when you first open the box you'll notice that the phone is at the top of the box I'll try and show you without the phone falling out uh, so that's the phone there I'll get to that in a minute um, and then basically it is a pull out drawer with everything that you need inside um, now as I say this phone is on O2 UK uh, so it came with an O2 SIM card which I placed in the phone um, your USB cable um, so we've got a junk in there um, there is a set of headphones but it's got a proprietary headphone socket which I was a bit disappointed with but it does come with an adapter which I misplaced. Uh, there's some earbuds for the headphones, there's the O2 SIM card manual, um, safety manual from O2 for the phone. And uh, this appears to be the instruction guide, which is very nice. Now as far as I was aware, when this phone was first released it had a cost of £299. Uh, that's really why I didn't get it, because back then I couldn't really afford that kind of money. Um, but I got it on a really good deal, so I thought I'd buy it and uh, do an unboxing and a review. Now uh, that's the CD um, for the installation. Uh, like many phones these days, it's got a, U like a wall USB adapter um, and an attachment for the plug. Um, I didn't actually work out how to get it on because uh, I've just been charging it through the USB. Uh, oh, that's it, first time. Okay, so that goes onto there, and obviously, you just plug the USB cable into the top there. It's becoming more and more common with phones these days, it saves them money. Uh, and this, of course, is the nest for the phone. Basically, you put the phone in there, it's got a little port that your phone plugs into, and acts as a speaker and also has uh, two sockets to plug the phone, uh, to plug headphones in and it has a standard 3.5mm jack um, also you could use one socket for headphones, one socket for USB I think that's what they actually designed it for um, the speaker inside the nest, I'll try and show you there, yeah um, and I found overall, I mean for a phone that's four years old um, I found that it's very good quality uh, especially the sound quality um, because this phone, as far as, I w as far as I was aware, was released because O2 had finally realised that lots of people were using their mobile phones as alarm clocks, and me, me one of those people. Um, and I found that lots of phones, even this £400 HTC HD7, just doesn't cut it when it comes to an alarm clock. The sound for the alarm is just sub-quality, and I haven't actually got a speaker for it at the moment. I will be buying one. Um, I should think. Um, but anyway, let's get to the phone. Now, as I say, two megapixel camera, which is on the front there, and when you flip it up, it's obviously there. Um, it's 
there's a screen. Uh, this, it took me a while to work out, but this little slider here, that is actually to control the volume and sound. Um, and on the side we have the buttons, um, but when you close it, it shows you what those buttons are. They're the media buttons, you know, the play, stop, fast forward. Down there is the button to turn music on, and in the middle there is a little flick switch to lock and unlock the phone. Uh, on the other side it's pretty basic, there's your standard micro SD port, it only supports up to 2 gigabytes according to the manufacturer. Um, also there is the release for the battery and your headphone socket. Um, now when opening the device um, it's just a standard flip up phone with standard buttons. Um, but it's a really nice design and it's simplistic and that's what I really like about it. It's easy to get on with even for people who don't really know how to use a mobile phone. It's ideal as a beginner phone. Now inside there's the battery cover. Uh, when that's removed we have the battery of course. Um, I'll try and remove it. There we go. So that's the battery there. And then inside it's just the where the SIM card goes and the model number and the IMEI. Um, so anyway, obviously this phone being made by O2, it was meant for O2. I don't think it's unlocked, uh, but I haven't got around to testing it. Plus I only ever use O2. Um, so anyway, let's uh, boot it up. The boot time's actually quite good in it. I'll just see if I can show you in the video. Um, the boot time is quite good, I was quite surprised bearing in mind it's a slightly old phone these days. Uh, but the boot time is really really good. Um, and when it booted up it was just a standard O2 boot logo. Um, sorry about the picture quality, I'm just using my standard computer webcam and actually bought a really good webcam. And that's the screen there, that's really what makes this phone so brilliant. That, those LEDs. Um, now as, as you can see it shows the time there and there's the wallpaper there. Now, I'll try and put music on to show you um, to show you the LEDs. Um, that's just saying I'm updating the music library, so if I go into my menu, I'll just put a song on. Now this if this wasn't my phone, hence the cheesy music, um, I haven't actually got around to putting other music on. Um, I'll try and put something that's not very embarrassing on. Uh, that's telling me what song it is. It's apparently Jordan Sparks' Tattoo. I have no idea what the song is, but um, so that's told you on there what the song is and the time. Which I thought was a brilliant feature and it. I've always loved this phone and I've been looking to get one for absolutely ages but they're just really hard to come across nowadays. Um, I was quite quite shocked when I found out that it was for sale. Uh, anyway, so let's just go through the phone menu. Um, so the centre button there, you press that, that takes you to the bar at the bottom of the phone that shows you messages, um, calculator, Bluetooth, things like that. That's just a quick launch menu. Uh, but to get to the main menu, you obviously just press that button up there, the menu button. Um, now, on the menu, there is profiles, multimedia, clock and alarm, browser, messages, music, tools, contacts, and settings. It's just very much similar to Sony Ericsson style layout. Um, and just go into messages. And there you go, so it's a very standard standard style messaging. Um, so it's a very basic and really nice little layout for the phone. Sorry about the clock being wrong, but um, so I'll just show you it on the actual Nest itself. Um, so that's what it looks like on the Nest, and uh, let's see if I can get it to play the music. Uh, um, but on the Nest, the 
that you can actually plug in with the 3.5 millimeter port. You can actually plug in your own speaker set, which is well, I thought that was really good um, because if you have really loud speakers and you have trouble waking up in the morning, that's also a bonus. But um, yeah, so I'll just put the song on and put it on the next. So uh, yeah, there we go. Now for an old phone, that sound quality is actually quite good. So anyway, um, my personal thoughts, even though this phone is aging these days, um, I would still happily take this phone as a main phone. Um, and if I do actually get around to selling the phone that I have now, um, then I would seriously consider keeping this as a main phone. I mean, because it does everything I need it to do. It has 3G. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, but I, I can happily sacrifice Wi-Fi for the basic features. Um, so yeah, uh, my personal thoughts. Brilliant phone, definitely worth the money. If you can find one for sale, uh, definitely buy it. Um, and overall, it's a really good phone. Um, I haven't actually tested the camera yet, but really, I couldn't really show you camera quality anyway. Bear in mind, it's um, on YouTube anyway. But um, yeah, so overall, a brilliant phone, brilliant price, and some brilliant little features. Um, and I hope anyone that buys it likes it as much as I do. Thanks for watching, Terry Reviews.